Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today we will be covering Samsung Smart Switch here in 2022. Now, I am finally officially moving over as my daily driver from the Galaxy Z Fold 3 over into the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, really, the real test is if I am to stay in the S22 Ultra just because I'm a huge fan of the form factor. I love the larger screen for watching content, looking at charts, things like that. The only downside I have had with a phone that is this large, this heavy, this bulky, is the ability of running, walking, doing things outside, riding a bike, things like that, because it's always going to be, you know, bumping up against your leg. It's going to be moving more than normal just because it has a little bit more mass. So now we're going to move over to the S22 Ultra, and it's very simple and very fast to do. So all you'd have to do is go to your new phone. You just want to hit on that search button. You can search for smart switch. The other way is just by simply going inside of your settings. You're going to scroll down. You can take a look at accounts and backup. This is where you can manage accounts and also smart switches inside of there. So you hit accounts and backup right here underneath the section for smart switch. You can bring data from old device. So here we go. This is the new phone S22 Ultra. We want to receive data. You can move over from uh, you know an Android or Galaxy phone. You can move over from Apple. You can also move over from Windows. So whatever old device you may have. So from here, we're going from Galaxy to Galaxy. So you choose the top option. If you choose the option of cable, you just want to take the cable from the box of the S22 Ultra and it's type C to type C. If you have an older device, you just have to have the adapter from the other device where you can plug in, you know, your USB A to type C, you can transfer it. But the easiest, most simple way we're here in 2022, let's go wirelessly. So now the phone is going to locate the other phone here. You can see send stuff to Jimmy's S22 Ultra. You just hit on yes. And again, same thing with permissions. This is just smart switch asking for permission to take a look at all of these applications, your phone, phone logs, contacts, things like that, making sure it's okay to transfer everything over. And then you hit on apply. It'll first search for all of the data that will be moving over. Once this little section right here is done, this little part is done, then you can choose what it all has found to actually move over. So you can move over everything, which is 23 gigs, which will take about 17 minutes, which is very, very quick. If you think about it, that's a little bit more than one minute per gig gig moving over wirelessly. Uh, the next one is right here. You can do just accounts, calls, contacts, and messages, or you can go through custom. So if you do custom, you're going to hit on next. And then this is going to be pretty much this, the same screen that you normally would have seen. So the last screen that we saw where it gave you three options, I think that is what is new which is a part of the new Samsung Smart Switch, or it's new because of One UI 4.1. So from here, you can move over your Google accounts. You can move over your calls and contacts. Uh, you can move over all of the messages. I don't believe I need all of the messages. Um, I am gonna choose applications. Now, anytime that you see this arrow, you can actually tap on the arrow and then you can choose what would actually move over and not move over. So if there's some of these applications that you feel that you might not need, so let's say that we don't need this one, uh, let's say that we don't need this one. And if there's any other ones that you don't need, you can actually just, you know, deselect them. So it's a way that you can just move over what you technically now use rather than having all of these, these extra applications. If we don't need Southwest. So again, just go through, select the ones you would like to do, and you just hit on done. Um, now, when it comes down to messages, I do want to show you, you can transfer all of them. You can do the last two years. Um, or what you can do is you can do the last one year, six month, three month, or 30 days. So if you feel like the only important stuff is the last 30 days, then you can do that. But again, I don't really need to move the messages over. I do want to move over some of the settings. I do want to move over some of the, uh, actually, I'm going to keep the home screen. I'm going to create it myself. I don't need to move over my images or videos or audio um, just because all of those are already backed up on my own cloud that I have here at home. Now, I've only selected five things. I'm moving over 13 gigs which is only going to take 17 minutes. So for me, not moving a few things, it's saving about seven minutes. And then now you just hit on transfer. So now that it's being connected, let's see, you just want to hit on the copy button. You want to unlock it. So the first time that you type in your pin, it's going to be move, moving over some of your data in terms of your Google accounts. Then it's going to ask you to type in your pin or your fingerprint one more time to move over the data. So here we go. We are already 2.7% done, 11 minutes left. You can keep the screen on if you would like to watch it. It'll dim it down. Uh, but yeah, this is it right now so far for all you got to do for transferring it over. Very simple. Either you can customize it on what you want to move over, or you can just simply move over everything, 
which some people like to do. Now, one thing I do want to mention that could take the longest would be your messages. If you have thousands and thousands and thousands of messages that you are moving from the whole time you've held your phone, that would probably take the longest out of everything just because it has to put it all into chronological uh, in terms of the date of when you receive everything. It's moving over your text and some of the images, all of the MMS, all the SMS, it moves over everything. So again, I would suggest just doing the last 30 days or one of those other shorter time frames. So this way you don't have to wait for a long time for everything to move over. So the transfer is all done. So over here, you can just hit on the close button. And over here on this phone, you can see that it's done transferring your data. We're organizing your transfer data in the background and we'll let you know when that's finished. In the meantime, enjoy your phone. So you can just go back into the home screen. Now, if you are curious of the progress, all you have to do is hit on this little down arrow. You can see how many minutes are, is left of the transfer. You can see how many more contacts is being left or what all they're doing there and how many. Um, also too, if you wanna take a look inside of your application tray, you can see that it is now filling up. It used to only be one one little page here. So now there's going to be, you know, two pages. You can also go through the very top and you can sort all of these. So once everything is transferred over, make sure you do sorting and do alphabetizing, clean it up, things like that. So this way you can look much better. So now the transfer of all the data has been completely finished. This is going to show you all of the results, you know, all of the items, how much you have moved over. It's going to talk about all the applications, the documents and files, settings, accounts. You can also view more things like that. So once you hit on done, you just hit on done one more time. And then uh, all of these things are gonna be downloading still in the background. So you can still see that a lot of applications are uh, you know, coming on in. Some applications moved over into the, the game launcher, things like that. Now, if you, the, some of the most important things that you probably wanna take a look at will be your messages, your phone. So you can take a look at your contacts and gallery. So if you moved over messages, pictures and contacts, those are the three main areas you should go into just to make sure everything has moved over that you wanted. Uh, and then still in the background here, um, you can still see that now it's finally installing all of the applications. Now, even though all of the applications are currently still downloading to the phone, you can see that there's still quite a few left. You know, when you take a look at your application tray, if there's a few that you notice at the end are missing, uh, all you have to do is just go inside of your, your Play Store. On the top right-hand side, click on your little icon. This is where you go to Manage Apps and Device. So inside of here, you can go to Manage, but here's where you can see what updates are available. You can actually update all of them, but here is the Manage button. Underneath Manage, you can take a look at what all has been installed, uh, updates available. You can see what, has, what needs an update. You can select them, things like that. But what you can do is you can go inside of uh, Installed or Not Installed. If you go to Not Installed, this is gonna show all the, the applications that is associated with your, with your Gmail account that you can then go through. And if you notice that you don't have it on your phone, you can just simply tap on it and then you can get it uh, uh, downloaded. So let's say this, this Bally Sports, uh, I don't really know exactly what this one is, but if you hit on install, now you can install it back onto this phone. Again, this is all of the applications that is dealing with uh, your Gmail. So this Bricks Breaker puzzle, if you want it to be downloaded, hit on install. So this is a quick and easy way to find what you have been used, you know, what you've used in the past that is not installed on your device. So that's pretty much it for today's video. As you guys noticed, it pretty much moved every single thing over. You had an option to move everything, or you can do it as a customization thing. Now, I didn't move as much over as most people would. I bet a lot of people would maybe have 50 gigs, maybe 100 gigs to move over. So it will take a little bit longer. So pretty much when you take a look at your phone over here, you can watch the progress. Just make sure everything is being done. You see all these prompts. Um, also, make sure you take a look at your messages, your contacts, as well as your photos. Make sure everything has moved over. If you notice some of the applications are not sitting there, they could be downloading you know, currently. If everything has been completely done, then I just got done showing you where you're able to find those other applications that you forgot to move over to this device. So that that is it for the video. You can do this thing wirelessly. You can do it with a cable if you want to, but everything has been moved over and that is now the end of the video. But if you guys appreciated it, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.